the RTX 3060 might be launching sooner than you thought. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So over the last couple of months, there's been a whole slew of leaked information on the RTX 3060 Ti, but any information on the regular RTX 3060 has been pretty thin on the ground. And let's be honest, most people who want to play their games in decent quality settings and a decent resolution don't really want to have to spend $400 plus on a GPU. So I thought it would be a whole lot of fun and really interesting to try and go ahead and find as much information on the regular RTX 3060 so we can try and figure out what the specs, performance, release date, and price of this upcoming GPU might be. Now most of this information I'll be talking about today comes from the website TechRadar, and some of it will also be coming from the Twitter user Copite7Kimi, but of course there's going to be a healthy amount of speculation in this video as none of this stuff is really confirmed, and of course we don't know all of the information. And of course my sources will be in the description below so you can go ahead and get the full information, but in any case let's start off with those specs, and according to Copite7Kimi, this GPU, the RTX 3060, will be based on the GA106-300 GPU, which is a little bit different than the RTX 3070 in 3060 Ti as those will both be based on the GA104 GPU so the GA106 is actually a slightly smaller GPU overall and of course that means that there's going to be other changes likely to the memory subsystem but starting off with the core count here I expect this to be a little over 2,000 less cores than the RTX 3070 which sounds like a lot but you know in reality these cores don't really scale that well in the Ampere architecture so we're probably going to be looking at 3,840 CUDA cores about 6 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory running at 14 gigabits per second on a 192 bit bus which leads to 336 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth and you know the memory there is a little bit disappointing and we're definitely going to talk about that a little bit later but now that we've gone over what the main specs are likely going to be let's go ahead and talk about the performance so with 3840 CUDA cores that's quite a bit less than the RTX 3070 in fact the 3070 would have roughly a little bit over 50% more CUDA cores and of course you're thinking to yourself wow is this thing really going to be 50% slower but you know like I mentioned earlier earlier the Ampere architecture doesn't scale you know incredibly well with the CUDA cores that's on it so I would expect this GPU to be somewhere between 30 to 35 percent slower than the RTX 3070 overall and to put that in perspective the RTX 3070 I'm expecting to come in about 5 to 10 percent slower than the 2080 Ti which would lead me to believe that the 3060 would probably be somewhere around the 2070 level performance maybe a little bit faster but we'll just have to wait and see when that actually comes out to find out and speaking of release dates let's go ahead and talk about it so apparently according to tech radar this thing is going to be releasing somewhere in early to mid November and this article does come from a few weeks ago and you know considering the fact that the RTX 3070 was pushed back a little bit it's probably not gonna be early to mid November anymore at this point it's probably more like mid to late November and that's probably just the announcement date the actual release date of the GPU when you can potentially buy it is probably going to be more like in the December range though I do expect it to release in 2020 and not 2021 I would be pretty surprised if you had to wait all the way into 2021 to get an RTX 3060 as I think there's going to be a lot of pressure from AMD and Nvidia is definitely going to want to come out first because I think AMD is going to have some really exciting stuff in the mid range and Nvidia is definitely going to want you to try and buy their GPU use first get first to market so that AMD can't capitalize on that but of course none of this really means anything if the price is way too high and according to tech radar they expect this GPU to come in at around $340 and the reason why they believe that is because the RTX 2060 before it came in at around that price and you know that does make a decent amount of sense here but I think with the increased amount of pressure I would expect it to land somewhere between 300 to 340 dollars I wouldn't be too surprised if we saw a small price drop this time around because you got to remember the Turing series GPUs were extremely overpriced and they're absolutely not worth the price that they were asking for and so you know and you, considering the fact that the 3060 Ti is likely going to come in somewhere between 380 to 400 dollars I think 300 dollars for the 3060 vanilla version makes a whole lot of sense especially with the cut down VRAM amount and speaking of the VRAM I just want to touch on that for a little bit here before we wrap up the video because you know going into 2021 with only six gigabytes of VRAM on the 60 class card once again to me is it's incredibly disappointing and I really wanted to see them push that up to 8 gigabytes and I know that there's probably going to be a 3060 Ti variant with 8 gigabytes and that's all well and good but if that card's coming in close to around $400 I'm sorry but that's just not good enough from Team Green they really need to bring that 8 gigabytes down to the masses at this point because in all reality we've had 6 gigabyte cards since I believe the 1060 so you're talking about 1066 gigabyte then you have 2066 gigabyte and now we're you know moving into 2021 here and we're going to have a 3066 gigabyte I'm sorry but that's just not good enough I mean this kind 
kind of a similar situation with the RTX 3070 with its eight gigabytes, but there it's a little bit less egregious because not only is it once again, they're gonna be probably another variant with 16 gigabytes, but on top of that, eight gigabytes for now is enough to run essentially ultra settings on whatever panel you have. Now going forward in the future, that might not be the case, but looking at six gigabytes, that's not really the case even right now. You look at games like even Apex Legends, which if you wanna run that game on ultra settings, you need eight gigabytes of VRAM. And I'm sorry, but if you're spending 300 plus dollars in a GPU, you should be able to run your games at ultra settings without having to compromise. And you know, especially if you're running on like a 1080p monitor here, you know, I'm not expecting yes, 4K ultra settings on a 3060 graphics card. That's just not realistic. But if you're running a 1080p monitor, you should be able to tick all those boxes at least on release with this GPU and not to have to suffer any serious drawbacks because unfortunately, while you can go ahead and, you know, turn on ultra settings, even if you don't have the VRAM to do it, it has to dip into other resources or, you know, do some finagling to get it to work, which typically results in, you know, lower frame times. Maybe your frame rate hits, it gets a drop. Maybe there's some, some pop in. So it's just not ideal to do that. And while they could surprise us and come out with a GPU that has, you know, eight gigabytes of VRAM as these specs aren't confirmed and it's just a combination of various leaks and my own speculation, I really do think that it's going to end up coming with six gigabytes of VRAM. And I really hope they don't do that. I hope they surprise us with eight gigabytes because AMD might come around with a GPU that's in a similar price range, giving you like 12 gigabytes of VRAM because the rumor is right now with AMD that they're going to come out with three cards that are 16 gigabytes to compete with the RTX 3070, 3080, and potentially even 3090. And then they're going to have a card that competes with the 3060 Ti and 3060 that'll have 12 gigabytes of VRAM. And then there's possibly going to be eight and four gigabyte of VRAM cards that will be competing in the somewhat lower end. And AMD tends to give you a little bit more VRAM. And that's kind of the nice thing about that company. But I was sure this time around that NVIDIA would be a little bit more generous with its VRAM capacities because they've just dragged this out for so long and I just I'm you know looking at the GPU if it was based on the same GA 104 as say the RTX 3070 I could definitely go forward and say you know what I bet they will give you eight gigabytes but considering that it's on a much smaller GPU the GA 106 I don't think they're going to do it. I think it's going to be 192 bit bus, six gigabytes of VRAM, which is just incredibly disappointing to see in 2020 going into 2021. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about these RTX 3060 leaks? Are you excited for it? Or are you going to be looking forward to what AMD has to offer? I'd love to see what you have to say in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.